Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a February reading for the sign of Cancer. So, so this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. Keep in mind that this reading may not resonate right now. It is for February. It may resonate at any time in February. Um, so come back and watch it later. Okay. Cancer. What do we have for February? For the sign of Cancer. What do we have for February? You know, somebody's hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. And they need to take action. No, oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually go like this. We're not gonna do that spread, we're gonna do this spread. Something is gonna be revealed that's been hidden. You know, this is breaking free. It really is. Taking action to sever some sort of ties that have left you feeling really in your own prison, right? Really trapped, really stuck. Something has kept you bound. Pain. Pain has kept you bound in some way. But this is taking action, moving very quickly away from a painful situation. So maybe you are moving very quickly away from something that was painful. This is not listening though. This is not listening to your intuition. Lack of wish fulfillment here. There could be some sort of rejection that has happened. And you may be feeling extremely lonely at this time. You're not seeing something clearly. You are not seeing something clearly. So please do not point the finger at the other person. This reading is for cancer. You're not seeing something clearly. And it's hindering your wish fulfillment. It's hindering your happiness. It's like you're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself of something. Wanting to go back to somebody that deceived you or cheated on you or hurt you. There could have been some cheating going on for sure. I mean, it looks like, I'm not sure what this is. It could have been, you know, somebody's in denial over a situation. So this is denial. There could have been like a, somebody may have cheated. This is like a very lusty energy, like this is sexual. You could be dealing with somebody who has cheated and you're refusing to believe it. You know, it's like you know it, but you don't want to believe it. You're in denial. Oh my God. There is definitely something going on behind the scenes here. There is. And it might, is sexual. It is sexual. Driven by lust. Uh, the need for attention. Ego. There's ego here. Somebody needs constant attention. I think it's the other person. Honestly. In that case, I think it's the other person. And I think that you don't want to believe it. You may not want to believe that this person cheated on you or cheated you or lied to you or deceived you, but you know that you know that they did. And it's so painful that it's hard to break free. You have to take action. You have another opportunity waiting for you. But it's like you're not seeing clearly. This is like 
the shadow side refusing to see just pretending that everything is not as it is when it really is somebody has broken up a commitment oh my god and now it's time for you to let go of this anxiety it's time for you to let go of this stress it's time for you to let go of this um pain okay it is this is closing that door to pain taking action you know, you can't let yourself be controlled by this toxic situation anymore. I feel like you guys have been manipulated by somebody that perhaps cheated. I mean, that's the, that's the truth. And, you know, now this, this commitment or whatever is, is like no longer making you happy. Or that it didn't make them happy and it didn't fulfill your wishes, but you don't want to believe it. And complete denial over the whole situation, even though you know the truth, but you don't want to see the truth. You don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. This is the hair of my upright is believe and I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. And who does, right? When, you know, there's fear of growing old alone, you know, there's rejection, there's, there's, you know, this is like a midlife crisis kind of situation where... I can't believe this has happened. Somebody has uh, impulsively got themselves involved with a sexual altercation that is affecting their commitment, you know? Marriage, commitment, partnership, whatever. And now it's like there's no more wish fulfillment here. There's no... And ego got in the way big time, so... You know, this person needed attention for one reason or another. Um, but what's the overall outcome here? The overall outcome is release. This is the overall outcome, releasing the pain. Dropping it, letting go of the situation, okay? Stop thinking about it. And I know that's easier said than done. Whoever you are dealing with is no, not really emotionally available, and you need to... Really, I know this is very emotional, and I can feel that it's very emotional. And maybe, maybe you need to cry it out. Maybe you do need to cry it out. I mean, this is painful. Um, but this is trying to shut yourself off emotionally from this situation. You, you're gonna have to be harsh. I mean, you're, and I hate to say that, you're gonna have to really. Be honest with yourself here. You're dealing with another person that didn't care if they hurt you. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. You're dealing with... Uh, could be Taurus. Okay. Um, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know. Somebody has cheated you and lied to you and deceived you when you had opened your heart. Could be a Virgo. You had opened your heart. And that looks like this person didn't think about the consequences. They didn't care who they hurt. They were only thinking about themselves. They weren't using their heart. It wasn't based on heart. It was based on lust. Okay? So you're dealing with somebody who isn't really emotionally available for one reason or another. There's a lot of drama here. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of um, pettiness. Which you need to give up. You need to stop fighting. This is give up give up the fight for this toxic individual, whoever it is. You don't need that drama in your life. You need to make that decision to stop fighting for somebody who can't love, okay? You have another opportunity. You do. This is the goal. This is the ace of pentacles going into the nine. You got to work on your singlehood. You need to work on your self-worth because we've got nine pentacles in here and one pentacle here. You need to work on yourself. Work on building yourself back up to the best that you can be. Then you're going to get that golden opportunity that you can really save. This is a time of completing that difficult chapter with the person that betrayed you. And left you alone, left you feeling alone, left you in this midlife crisis, whatever it is. You have another opportunity when you complete this cycle, when you let it go. 
You have a new path. You have to make that choice. You're at this crossroads. Do you keep holding on to the past or do you move forward into the light? Do you move forward into the better place? You have an opportunity to go through a new door and accept a new passionate opportunity. This, this world is big. It's your choice which path you, path you take. I see so there's like some restlessness. There's restlessness over making this choice. Do I keep holding on or do I move forward? You know, this is a card of consequences. The Seven of Cups is a card of consequences. You have to make a choice. Do you want, I mean, can you ever trust this person who can't love, who cheated, who hurt you, who stabbed you? Can you ever trust this person? I mean, come on now. You, need, you want somebody who's going to work with you, somebody who's going to communicate, somebody uh, who's going to see your worth, somebody who's going to appreciate you, somebody that's going to follow through. Somebody that's going to commit, somebody that's going to really want something long term there's an opportunity for happiness there is when you come out of denial you need to commit yourself you need to commit yourself to working on you seeing things clearly opening your eyes and celebrating your life. Let your friends help you. Go out and have fun. Start dating. Celebrate. Celebrate your life. Celebrate your independence. Your prayers right now are being heard. And they're going to bring you a commitment that is worthy. But right now you need to put in effort to... To heal from this situation. And it's like you're not, you're still not focused on yourself. You need to be. You need to work hard on recovering from something. A third party situation, three, it is. There's been some sort of cheating, and I think that you were committed to somebody. You really were, and that's, it's like a broken heart. You know, you got to be practical here. you got to be realistic. This is, in the Queen of Pentacles reverse, is a person that is not realistic, not being practical, not being grounded. you gotta, you got to be, you got to get real here. This opportunity that you're holding on to is, is lost. It's whatever it is. I don't know what it is. And you have another opportunity for love. But you may not see it. You may not be putting effort into the right one because it looks like you're not putting in effort to find the right one. Maybe you've got a queen of pentacles here that you don't see. I don't know who this is, but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe you don't see it because you're caught up in some sort of drama with somebody who can't love. It's like you're not seeing a real opportunity because you're not putting in effort to see that there's another opportunity for love. There is. But you need to open yourself up and you need to stop holding on to the opportunity that is already gone. You have the power to take back your life. You have a power to shed this situation. You really do. The magician uses the tools within to shed the old, to bring in the new. You have a new opportunity for love that I don't think you can see because your mask is on. You're missing this opportunity. This is You have a new connection, a divine connection with somebody else. But because you're holding on to something that's not stable, 
It's, you know, you got to take action here. You got to take action. Or you're going to be unhappy. You're not allowing growth. You have to allow growth to be happy. You got to think positive. You need to forgive, release, and accept. Accept. This is the card. This is the card of truth, of releasing and accepting the truth. I think you need to give the new person, whoever this new person is, a chance. I think that you have a new opportunity for love and you need to give this new person a chance. And stop holding on to the dead end. This is wake up. Awake, wake up. Somebody's holding on to a dead end situation and they have the power to change it. I mean, to change their life. You take that mask off and accept an ending that is, it's already over. Release, accept, and begin again. You have a new, you have a new opportunity for love. You do. This could be a reconciliation with somebody else. Not this person that just hurt you, okay? It's not. It's not this person that just hurt you. It's somebody else. Maybe it's somebody that you knew a long time ago. It's not the person that stabbed you. I'm telling you what. Just right now, no. It's not the one that just cheated on you. It's not. It's somebody else. If it's a reconciliation with somebody, it's a reconciliation with something that ended a long time ago or maybe a couple years ago where there was no closure, whatever. It's not this last karmic that you were with. It's not. Just so you know. It's not. That was a karmic lesson. Whoever you were just with that really hurt you, that was a karmic lesson. It really was. And it's kept you held back from success. It's kept you held back from the one that you are destined to be with held back from the one that you are destined to be with you gotta let it go so that this wheel can spin in your favor so it can bring you the your destiny it's time to get unstuck stop sacrificing yourself for a joker you got somebody else wake up wake up so I feel like it's time to move on it's time to move on. It's time to go to that better place. You've got somebody else. And I do think that you know who this person is. It's somebody that you know, that you may have been with a long time ago, or you knew when you were younger, or a couple years ago, two years ago. Or maybe even 20 years ago. Could be 20 years ago. So anyway, I feel like there's an opportunity to bring balance and harmony to your life if you can move on from this one that really, really betrayed you. So this is what I see. I see that you have an opportunity for a reconciliation with somebody from your past but it's not the one that taught you a difficult karmic lesson just now. You're moving to a better place. You're going to have success. You are. Let go of the dead end. That's what I have. Good luck, Cancer. <laughs>